Hey guys, so today I'm actually going to an exciting event. I'm going to a uh, or uh, organ concert. It's with a person from France. I believe he plays at the um, at a cathedral or a castle in France. I believe it's called Notre Dame de France or something like that. And I'm excited because he's coming to a cathedral that I'm obsessed with in my city, in my state. So he's coming in for you. Well, he's already here. It was supposed to be tomorrow, but since tomorrow we're having a ginormous snowstorm, unfortunately, they moved the concert up to tonight. And I'm super excited because he has, I believe, two to three choruses are in it as well. And the director of music at from the cathedral who invited me to play that organ is in it as well. So, I'm positive the guy is going to remember me. I saw him play in concert back in January, and I introduced myself to him. I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm learning organ, this and that. And he's like, yeah, yeah, come play the organ. I was like, no way. And that was so cool to have him invite me for that. And tonight is just going to be a fantastic night. I'm going to try to, I believe they're doing a French mass setting. I believe it's in Latin or French. I'm not sure. I'll find out. And I'm going to try to get clips of everything. I'm assuming it's going to be like a glory to God antiphon and some other things i'm not even sure but my aunt's here so we're gonna go see the uncle so i wasn't joking when i said this is the cathedral this is like mosaic stuff look at the ceiling so we're gonna see the uh, person play on this and i believe the choir is singing from over there somewhere on that side and then you have organist up here so that is the set look at the stain you guys can't even see this this is the stained glass this place is ridiculous insane i mean it goes all over the church that's the librarian and then more stained glass up here so and over there is the director guy who I need to see later, who we will take a picture of later. And this is the beautiful altar that they have with Jesus on top and an angel. And then they have another side cathedral thing over here. I'll do a tour of the place later, but I'll link a vlog that I did down below. So yeah, that's the setup for this concert.
guys so i'm just doing a quick reflection on the concert i'm gonna try to keep this short and brief and just get straight to the point as to what i want to say i just got home uh the concert was amazing i uh, i had such a fantastic time i don't even know where to start oh my gosh okay so what the uh, what oliver did i'm gonna call him oliver i probably will kill his last name i think it's latre or latre i don't know latre i think i don't know whatever i'm just gonna call him oliver so what Oliver played was he played four different pieces, obviously all memorized, mind blown. And he played three prelude and fugues. I believe they were some French composers. I don't even know. I'll leave everything in the description so you guys can check out what he played. And then he played like a finale piece or something. Really nice piece. How to get time listening to it. And as you guys saw in the clips, in the screen, or on the in the cathedral, they had this screen where you could, um, like, see what he was playing. Not his feet, but, you know me, I can kind of hear what he was playing with his feet anyways, because I have good ears like that, unfortunately. So I was able to hear exactly what, he, you know, he was playing with his feet, and not everyone was, you know, able to hear. And during his pieces, a lot of the people had no idea when to clap. So I, obviously, learning organ and being to feel these concerts, and I've kind of picked up when you're supposed to clap and when you're not. And... I had to lead the clapping because no one knew when to clap. And I was like this, face to palm and forehead. But that's okay. Um, so I played that. And then after that, you had intermission, which is like 10 minutes. I just kind of walked around, went to the bathroom and came back. I didn't really do anything crazy. And then after that, um, you had three choirs. You had a senior choir, I believe that was in it. And like a children and teen choir. And then you had the cathedral choir, if I'm not mistaken. That's like more of an adult choir. So that was nice. Um, and they sing a French mass setting, which I'm trying to think, what the freak is it called? I don't even know. I believe they called it Masael or something. I'm probably, everything is in the description. You guys can go check that out down there. They did Kyrie Eleison. Kyrie, I'm probably saying it wrong. Kyrie Eleison, Glory to God, um, Gloria in Excelsis Deo, which I guess is Glory to God. Um, Sanctus, Benedictus, and Agnus Dei. Those are, like, were all the mass parts. Obviously, all in Latin. It was really nice to kind of hear the choir sing. And then you had, it was nice. The way they set, the way they had it set was you had Oliver playing some parts of the mass intertwining with the, intertwining with the um, director of the cathedral who was playing the other organ, which is a little bit further down and you can still hear it. You guys will hear it in the video. You guys will, you guys, I'm sure, heard it in the clips. Um, phenomenal job to see some you know something like this be put together and have two organs playing and the choir playing i'm sure it took a lot of work for all of them to kind of make all this happen and i'm sure the choirs have been rehearsing this for months i know because when i do my choirs with that guy over there who's the famous polish composer he we rehearsed for about a month and a half we rehearsed for a while with his stuff and his stuff is sometimes complicated anyways so we did that and then after the concert, I went up, he came down for like a little bit, and I very quickly got a picture with him. You guys, who gets a picture with the most world's famous organist? What? I do. My aunt came with me and I was super stoked. Um, but before that, he did, the choir sang a couple pieces, and then he did like three or four sections of an improv. Let me tell you, my mind was blown because I had no idea, you guys, how he came up with all this stuff on the spot mind blown you guys will see some of it it's all in the, it's all in videos i'm like mind blown by how he came up with all this i have no idea so he i'm gonna call him the king of improv he's really really good at him but he's like way more than that he's the king of improv let's leave it at that he was fantastic and then i got to go meet him he's a man of very little words obviously he spoke english but i think he speaks more french obviously because he's from france and I told him, I'm like, hey, my name's Paula, you know, I'm learning organ, and he seemed very, I guess, pleased that I was learning organ, and I asked for a picture, and he said yes, and I told him it's an honor and a pleasure to be watching you play, and thank you, it's been an inspiration for me as well, good luck with everything, and good luck with your, you know, with your trip home, it's supposed to go home Wednesday morning, yeah, I don't know if he's going to because of this ginormous snowstorm that we're having tomorrow, anyways, and then after that, so I kind of congratulated him, I said thank you, and then I went over to the, um, director, the director's like, hi, it's nice to see you again. I met him uh, a couple months ago. Like, I introduced myself to him. He's a phenomenal organist himself. He's the He has a doctorate in music or something. I don't know. Anyways, 
Um, and he's like, oh, it's nice to see you again. And I'm so happy that you came. He's like, now it's your turn to come and play the organ. I'm like, uh, yeah, I would, but I have a problem. I'm like, I don't have a very good repertoire, that's number one, and I kind of want to work towards getting my organ certification certificate, uh, my organ service playing certification through the organization. And he's like, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, call the cathedral and we'll set something up and we'll talk. I'm like, awesome. Yeah, buddy. So he wants to help me get the certification. Uh, the certification, I will be honest with you guys, is very complicated. It's very hard. Uh, it has certain requirements that you have to meet, and if you don't meet them you're not, you don't get certified. And it's like the basic of playing or of organ work that you're going to need when, when you're an organist. And it's a very high, well-known certification, like a beginning certification for me to start with. They have many other certifications, but I just want to start with the basic certification. And I figured this, if I can play this certification, if I can receive this certification, get it, then I can go into a, a, a university and audition. It's kind of the same idea, but the level playing is about the same the, and I'm at a lower playing level right now, so I have to get myself up to that higher playing level. And if I, if I get that certification, I think I'll be able to audition for, like, a state school here and get into their organ program. That's the plan. Alright, enough of this talking. I'm going to bed. Not even scratch this. I'm going to go edit vlogs. So, seriously, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Please like the video. I really appreciate it. I had such a blast tonight. I can't believe I got to meet the freaking world's most famous organist in the world and I got a picture like fantastic night it's been a fantastic night so I'm not going to go and edit or sleep or whatever I feel like doing and I'll see you guys on my next one bye